Hey it's Art, uh, thank you once again for joining me here. Thank you once again for having me, Sachat. Obviously, we've made a video before about you and your experiences at Google. So I figured why not make another video and I give you a little bit of a test, kind of like a coding interview. Are you up for that? Yeah. I am. I guess for those of you who don't know, you interned at Google this past summer. You passed rigorous amounts of coding and technical interviews. So now we're just going to do like a mock interview. So let's get to it. All right, hit Arth. I'm just about to paste the question onto the coder pad. Just one thing I ask as you're going through the problem, just try to be as thorough as possible with whatever you do and what you decide and when you decide to do something over another thing. Yeah, absolutely. I will. Here is the question. We have a list of points on the plane. Find the k closest points to origin 0, 0. So just imagine like an xy plane from 0, 0, we have k closest point. Consider distance between any two points as the Euclidean distance. You can return your answer in any order. The answer is guaranteed to be unique. In essence, what you have is you have a list of points. These are xy coordinates. You're also going to have another parameter k, and you just need to find the k closest points. So say you five points that are sent in and k is two then you just return the two closest points any okay. any okay. questions you have no i think i understood the question so i'll just repeat it so that we can make sure that we're both on the same page we're going to be given a list of points the points are going to be coordinates x comma y my task is to find the k closest points to the origin i can return them in any order that sounds good to me what are you thinking as like your preliminary approach to the problem so the first thing that i'm thinking is the points actually actually don't matter. Thing that matters over here is the distance between the origin to that point, right? For every point in the plane that you've given me in the input, I first of all need to transform it to the distance from the origin to that point. What I have is an array of numbers and I just need to find the k smallest numbers and that is actually going to give me the guarantee that the points corresponding to that distance numbers are going to be the k closest points to the origin. So I guess what kind of data structures are you considering to help you out with this? In the input you need to be given me a list of pair let's say. So first of all I'm going to be transforming that list into an object that I'm going to make for myself in which I'm going to also have a distance uh, thing calculated. The other data structure that I think I can use over here is the priority queue. Okay, so I'm going to have a max heap over here. If there is a point that is closer than the maximum, then the maximum can be removed. I'll compare the new distance in, in the order that I'm iterating the points in. I'll get a new distance. I'll compare it with the maximum of the heap. If the new value is lesser than the maximum value, then I'm going to remove that maximum element in order of log n time. And I'm going to insert this new element in order of log n time. The overall time complexity is going to be n log n because what's going to happen is that's First of all, I'm going to transform from the points to the distances. So that's order of n. The next procedure that uses the max heap, it's going to run in uh, order of n log n time. So I really like your thought process and approach to it. If you're planning on keeping maximum k elements within that heap, does that really be log n time? It's good that you pointed this out. So it's not going to be actually n log n. So if there are n input points given to me in the, in the, in the original list and the parameter k, then the actual time complexity is going to be n log k, not n log n. You obviously have a great approach to it. I really like what you're doing by having max heap of minimum elements. So I guess if you could just kind of translate your words into code now, that would be optimal. I am going to first of all make a class. Okay. So that class, let me call it point. Be implementing the comparable interface. It's going to be having two fields. So I'm going to have two points. Constructor is going to look like this. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create method that's supposed to be implemented when we implement the comparable interface. So public int compare to. The way that I want this compare to method to work is that closer the point is, the lesser it should be. So if I'm comparing two points p1 and p2, then if the distance of p1 is lesser than p2 from the origin, then p1 is less than p2. I'll just have a small small method like a helper method that, that just calculates the distance private long it's going to take a point x it's going to just give me the distance from the origin to this point p and it's going to give me the square of that distance so like the square root is an increasing function whether i compare the square of the distance or the actual distance it's still going to be the same right so here what i'm going to do is this this dot square distance then that dot square distance then I'm going to return a minus one or if it's the opposite case and otherwise I'm going to return zero. 
So this is the case where the distance is. Let me start writing the main logic of the code. Let's say that n is the length of the, let me call it coordinates. So first things first, I am just going to going to have a priority queue of point. The default mode of priority queue in Java is min heap. So a way to get around this would be, so again, like, so I'm going to use the constructor that takes the capacity. And so this, when I pass this, collections dot reverse order. This will make sure that it is a, in fact a max heap rather than a min heap, okay? Uh, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to iterate over all the points whether the size of Q is less than K. If that is the case. So Q dot add coordinate I. Otherwise, so let me call the point on the top of the maxi top. So top is equal to Q dot peak. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if top dot compare to coordinate of i. So if it's greater than zero, which means that the element on the top is greater, which means that the distance from origin to that point is greater, I'm going to remove it. Yeah. So I'm going to say q dot pull and I'm going to do q dot add of coordinates of i. Do you want a two-dimensional array in the output? So I'm just going to have a 2D array it's equal to new integer q dot size point p in q the closest of i comma zero is equal to p dot x closest of i comma one is equal to p dot y and i can finally return the closest f. so it's just iterating through just adding all the elements and i really like what you have right here with going through adding the things to the max checking over and then easily putting it back into a 2d array how about we try to test it out sure so we'll have points at 3, 3, 5, negative 1, negative 2, 4, then k equal to 2. I guess we could just like run it and then we'll see if it verifies with the results. So the first one is 9 plus 9, 18. The second one is 25 plus 1, 26. The third one is 4 plus 16 is 20. So it's 18, 20, and 26. So the answer should be 3, 3, and minus 2, 4. Okay, let's see. 33, yeah. negative 2, 4. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, well, thank you, Hitarth, once again for being on here. You did an excellent job in this mock interview, and I think it was really beneficial for everyone watching this video. Thank you so much again for having me, Sachat. It, it was a real pleasure.